We begin in the ABC 7 Alert Center with breaking news. Newly released video shows the violent encounter that ended with the death of a New Mexico State Police officer. The officer's name was Darian Jarrett. You may remember him from February. As ABC 7 reported, he was shot and killed during a traffic stop near Deming. He was assisting U.S. Homeland Security investigators with a narcotics operation. Police say this is the man who killed Jarrett, 39 year old Omar Felix Cueva. This is a photo rela related to a previous arrest in California. Police say he was headed to Las Cruces to handle a drug deal when Jarrett pulled him over. ABC 7's JC Navarrete breaks down how this shooting unfolded and he joins us live now. JC. Eric, it's important for us to say that the video we are about to show you is very graphic in nature and it's very, very difficult to watch. We are sharing it with you tonight because it is key to the investigation as multiple agencies try to figure out how things went so wrong. Afternoon, sir. My name is Darren Jarrett. I'm with New Mexico State Police. The reason for the stop is your window tint's a little too dark. Yeah. Do you mind if I open the door? Or if you want to roll down the window more. Officer Darian Jarrett initiated the traffic stop on I-10 East near Deming. Do you have insurance for the vehicle? Uh, yeah. Where is it? Is it with the wallet? Is it with the wallet? Me favorite, um, come with me to my vehicle. That way I can run your name and date of birth and then... That way I could get my return, okay? Jarrett was assisting Homeland Security investigations with this traffic stop. What was your name? Omar Cueva. Omar Cueva? Yes, sir. I'm Mr. Cueva. Jarrett once again asked Cueva to step out of the vehicle to run his information. I got paperwork I gotta do, you know? Hey, hey, real quick, real quick. You have a firearm on you? Yeah. Oh, no, I see If I take it off you for my safety. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go to my vehicle, okay? Come on. ABC 7 counted 11 shots, one of which was point blank to the back of Jarrett's head. 52 seconds later, HSI agents made their way to the scene. Moments later, law enforcement shut down the interstate. A chopper made its way down to the scene to airlift Jarrett, but there was nothing more that could be done. Are you passing the 140? Here's what happened next. As we said, Cueva shot and killed Jarrett near Demi. About 14 miles east of that, Cueva got into a second police shooting with other New Mexico police state officers. That is when Cueva again opened fire on two officers there before taking off again. As Cueva did flee on I-10 East, LCPD, Doniana County Sheriff's deputies and Border Patrol jumped on the chase to help New Mexico State Police. Officers were able to deflate Cueva's tires near the Bicacho exit around 36 miles away from the original shooting just east of Deming. Still, that did not stop Cueva, who kept driving on I-10 East until a police officer used a pit maneuver to stop him in Las Cruces. Cueva got out of the moving truck there, armed with a handgun, firing rounds towards officers and deputies. LCPD officers shot Cueva several times. He was pronounced dead on the scene. Cueva struck LCPD officer A.G. Andre La Garza, who was flown to El Paso. The officer survived. Eric. Hey, Absolutely chilling video, JC. Cueva had a violent criminal history that included drug trafficking charges. Officer Jarrett became an officer in 2014. He was 28 years old when he was killed. Jarrett was a father of three children. He and his fiance were expecting a fourth child this year.